Hey, what's up? This is Christopher San Augustine here from Broken Coastal, here to show you my old, but new to me, 2004 Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive minivan. Let's check it out. I wanted to make this video because I know there's a lot of people out there like me who can't really afford a Sprinter or some super fancy adventure van, so I wanted to show you um, how cool these Toyotas are and what you could do with them. All right, so here it is. This is my 2004 Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive minivan. Down here I have a Kurt two-inch um, hitch that my buddy helped me put on. And then this is the Lola rack made in Portland, Oregon. Highly recommend this. Made by riders for riders. Super solid rack. If you're looking for a shuttle rack or just a rack for your van or your truck, um, I highly recommend this. Another thing I did is I added a um, backup camera, which was quite a process to install, but it was super fun and rewarding. I'll leave a link to the video that I followed below. One of the first things I had to do was put on some new tires. Check these out. So here we go. These are BF Goodrich KO2s and the size is 245 by 65 by R17. Um, they totally fit, no problem. There's no lift on this uh, van right now. Still plenty of clearance. It actually raised the van quite a bit. Um, speaking of that, I did buy a Journey Off-Road 3.5 inch lift kit, which is going to go on this van. Um, it's at my buddy's house right now, so just kind of waiting for him to say, hey, come on over and let's do this. Another thing I picked up was this Yakima Skyrocket box. I got this on Craigslist for a really good price. This is the 16 version. Super dialed. I'm gonna keep all my tools and camping gear and dirty clothes and all that kind of stuff in there when I'm on trips. But for now, it's just tools. And so now we get to the very exciting part of this. Um, my buddy, Paul LaCava, shout out to Paul, um, offered to build me a floor for my van. And it came out sick. I wanna get to know you Check it out. So the floor is made out of three quarter inch ply. As you can see here, um, where we laminated this very nice vinyl top to it. Super clean. Paul did a really good job at routing around the van. Um, he could have gotten it even closer and more precise, but this is something that we knocked out in two evenings. And um, yeah, he's just doing this for a favor and this wasn't like a professional job, but if it was a professional job, he would have done it all the way to here and made it super exact. But I am beyond stoked on how this came out. Thank you, Paul, I owe you so much. This looks so awesome. What's really cool is we took out the back seats and we made a cubby. So this just pops up and here we go. So this space where the rear seats would have gone now has this nice cubby. Um, it hasn't been treated yet, so Paul recommended that I maybe spray paint it or something like that, so I'll do that eventually. But for now, I just kind of got some random bits like my helmets and pump and some packs and stuff like that. So super dialed. I think eventually I'll have like my bedding in here like when I go camping and stuff like that. So back here we just have some tools and things like that. I love that the CN has all this random storage. Um, it's just going to be awesome. Uh, seat belts, I think I'm going to try to take these off eventually. Just to kind of make it clean. Again, just like these cool little lights everywhere. Handles, I don't know. More storage. 
yeah, that's about it. I did add this new radio, which was cool. Um, it's got Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff, so you can connect to Android Auto or um, the Apple version of that. All right, so that's about it. That's um, a quick tour of my 2004 Toyota Sienna in its current state. I still have a lot more things I want to do to it, like add the lift kit, um, figure out a bed, but I just wanted to kind of just document and share um, this van because I know there's a lot of other people out there um, interested in kind of converting a minivan or making it for off-road adventures and stuff like that. Um, I'm a mountain biker, so I need to get off-road quite often. And this was a really good choice for me, you know? So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Cheers.